Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. This vlog is very special because today the hype is over for Costco New Zealand. Today is the opening day for Costco New Zealand where a lot of New Zealanders have come to experience the opening day right here and I am one of them. And you can see Costco New Zealand right behind me. I am just heading in right now. It was a mission to find parking. So yeah, I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited as just as much as I am. And yeah, let's head in there very, very soon. Just making my way towards the front of the store because this is the rear end of Costco. Ramp you see there leads to Costco's car park, but it was all full when I went. Oh my gosh, there's quite a long line. There's quite a long queue waiting to get inside Costco. Um, I'll flip the camera around and show you guys. For some reason, I did not think there was going to be such a long line to access the store on the open day, but I was wrong. There is a long line, so it just starts from the front of the store and curves around to the back. So come along with me and I'll show you more of the line. Yeah, this is the building from the front. It looks pretty cool. And yeah, there's the line. <laughs> um, but it is moving pretty fast, so that is good, I suppose. Oh wow, they are moving pretty fast now, so I am going to be inside before you know it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of marshals and helpers out here to help you and direct you in case you get lost, whether it be with parking or the entrance or anything. So it is pretty well organized and the flow of customers going into the store and coming out is pretty good as well. A few moments later. So I am inside now. This is the line for the membership um, card. I need to pick up my membership card before heading in that way. They have multiple queues for picking up your membership card, so it is not a long wait at all. I'm just printing out my membership card. So I just got my membership card. This is how it looks if you haven't already got yours. Now I'm going to grab a trolley and yeah, take it inside. There's my entrance at the back. The membership card has your photo at the back and you present the membership card upon arrival at Costco. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so that staff member just asked me to present my membership card as I mentioned nice. earlier. First look of Costco. So this is exactly what you see as soon as you enter the store. It starts off with the electronics. So here is the checkout area. They do have a lot of checkout areas. Uh, it is really well laid out. You can see there's a lot of room. It is not congested. behind me they also do eye exams which I was not aware of that is so cool hearing tests there's a pharmacy and yeah optical the optical area sunglasses and everything but that's yeah really cool all in one area for your eyes and your ears so here I am in the pharmacy area of Costco they have some really really cool stuff first look as soon as you enter you can see that the, that the health supplements are already quite cheap at a discounted rate let me show you guys Check it out, 195 band-aids for just $19.99. How cool is that? I might just get one of these. So after the pharmacy area, it leads into the packeted food section. So here are some packeted foods, here are the prices. All reasonable once again. It's super great, you can buy in bulk. So many great clothing deals here right at Costco, there are just so many clothes, 
great deals as well. I'll just zoom in and show you guys some deals. I got the Women's Canterbury logo t shirts for $19.99. Now these Adidas pants are really cheap. I think you give them like 80 to 90 dollars, maybe even more at other retailers. So yeah, cool. So I'm out of the clothing section now and heading in another direction. I don't know where I am heading because the store is massive, but let's just keep walking. So I can see some meat section in front of me. So I guess we can check out the meat section or whatever lies around it. It's pretty, pretty busy. It is so, so busy. There's produce as well. Ooh, look what I found on the way. That is really cheap for a pack of 12. I'm just gonna grab one. It is only $2.99, guys. So all these breads are just there before the bakery and produce section. So it is really close by. That's why I branched off into this first. Slowly filling up my trolley. And here is the bakery section. They have loads of delicious products. Cookies, muffins, croissants, slices, cakes, and the list goes on. Wow, just check out their cakes. They look absolutely delicious, so beautifully decorated. And this large rectangular size is only $34.99. You get them much more expensive at cake stores. And there's a variety of flavors available here for any celebration, birthdays, or any other function. And the kitchen is so clean. Check it out. Who doesn't love a good croissant? Great deals going on here right in Costco, New Zealand, $12.99 for 12 pack of these beautiful croissants. Check out the size of these muffins. Whoa, for the price, these jumbo size muffins are amazing. Two packets will cost you $12.98 and you have six in each packet and you're getting 12 all together. Only $12.98. And here I am in the produce section now, which is right beside the bakery. Yum, yum, yum. Get your fruits and vegetables at really good prices. They do some speciality items as well, such as this Taiwanese pearl fish, I think it was called. If you don't even have any like these samples you can taste, just look over there. There are a lot of these sampling stations throughout the store where you can try the actual food before purchasing it. And that is really good. It's really nice to try the food before buying it in case you have never tried that specific product before. Wow, there's just so many people here shopping. Um, it is a bit of a process to get to certain places, but the great thing is that the aisles are really big and everyone's really patient. No one's really bumping into each other. The trolleys move really smoothly across um, from, the, from the ground. Yeah, um, I reckon like, the staff are really cool as well. They're really friendly. I have found that the trolleys are larger than the ones you get at the supermarket, Kmart or warehouse. That's my trolley so far. Check out all the chicken roasting in the back. There are a lot of ovens right there. And here I am zooming in so you all can have a proper look. Loving the deli section, there is just so much of a variety here. Check out the club sandwiches available for any occasion, parties, lunches, anything. There's 
they also have the pizzas here that you can just pick up and bake at home. $15.99 for large pizzas. I probably can't get any cold stuff today because I do live quite far away and I don't want it to get off. I have to come another day when it's not so busy because I don't know how it is. I don't know how the motorway will, will be when I'm going back home. What happens if it takes like two hours or something, right? You don't want the frozen food to get bad. So I have to come on a time where it's off peak. Opening day is always expected to be busy. So I can't really suggest purchasing frozen or cold food because it is quite a hot day today so it can get off. Here is all the milk. Once again, unfortunately, I'm not going to be purchasing any milk because milk does get off pretty quickly. And as I said, I don't know how traffic will be heading back home and I don't want to be stuck in traffic. So I'm basically just trying to give you all a virtual tour of Costco, New Zealand. Just trying to record section by section so you guys know what to expect um, when you do come in th into the store. If you haven't been able to make it to the open day today, I certainly hope that my video will help you navigate around the store and sort of give you guys an insight of what to expect in terms of pricing and the product range. As I said, they do have various tasting stations around the store. Here is another one that is sampling honey, manuka honey. Awesome stuff, guys. This is how the aisle looks in the frozen food section. It is extremely spacious and wide, which is great. You know, you don't bang your trolleys into each other. People have a lot of room to flow and pass by, which is awesome. Just some new frozen foods. So this time one of the sampling stations has caught my eye. This is a prawn and ginger dumpling, which is These very These are unique. a new Gillen product as well. Wow, cool. So I'm just going to try this um, prawn and ginger dumpling. Yeah, that's a good thing about Costco. They have samples at various parts of the store, so you can try and then purchase. So I'm going to try this and see how it is. Mm. I might get one of those. It even says have a taste demonstration and progress and that's what I just tasted. And those are the dumplings so I'm going to grab one. Let's just hope it doesn't get bad when I go back home. This place is so yum to resist so I'm definitely going to grab it. Now $4.89 for 2 kgs of fries is really good. Obviously some of these specials are only during the opening period and won't continue, but it still is a really good deal even afterwards. I mean even the original price of the fries is still a good deal, but the introductory offer is even better. If you are a tofu lover, you are going to love these products, of course. I'm thinking of grabbing one. Um, I, yeah, I just hope it doesn't get off when I get home. Nice. You can get the smaller version in Korean shop. Oh, cool. Thank you. No worries. Just had an awesome customer recommend this to me. She was from Korea and said it was fantastic. So, so far I have bought this many stuff at Costco. I think I should stop because I have come by myself and I have parked a little further away so carrying that much would be a bit difficult but yeah there's so much good stuff in here outdoor living section people are already chilling that is so cool to see and here we have like probably like giftware um, yeah or kitchenware if you want to say here is the Halloween section, the Halloween coming up. So I have been here for around maybe two and a half to three hours right now. 
and it is getting busier by the minute so I really do want to get out of here um, yeah it's just yeah it's just quite quite busy so I am here at the checkout ready to pay for my items I would have liked to buy more but it's gonna be hard to carry back to the car um, one thing I did find out though is that you have to pay you have to purchase for your items first before you head down to the food court over there so you can't shop then take your items there in then come back you have to shop purchase your items then you can go to the food court so i hope that clears up any confusion because i was a little confused look at the lines people are just fine it's awesome such an awesome open day they've, they've done really well costco new zealand has done very 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 well I really encourage everyone to get out here because there is something for everyone they have, have iPads, iPhones, they have all the electronics on that side as you enter the store. That's the electronics section you see first. Do you guys load everything? Like, right over here. Oh wow, that's so nice. So far? Oh, that's good. Started purchasing stuff. Look at all the people. And here you have it, the food court area. It is not that big, but it is still quite comfortable and enjoyable for those that want to buy some food. That is the sort of shop or canteen area, I would say, where you can buy any food items I did want to purchase some food but I don't think I will because there's such a long wait and I'm currently in West Auckland and I live like in East Auckland so it is going to be a drive back so I probably will come another day and have a, have a go but before going, let me show you guys how it looks in this food area. You have the workers constantly preparing fresh food. And you have the drink refill area over here, which is really nice as well. All the numbers displayed on the TV screen will be clearly, so there won't be any confusion. So the food available here is pizza and fries and you've got like the sundae churros and everything um i do like chicken pizza but i don't like feta so i probably won't order any food here today yeah but i just wanted to show you guys like how how it looks also a tip i do recommend bringing your own bags which is what i did i got my own bags there's some more in here um, because no one actually, I don't think Costco actually gives bags or I don't even think they have bags available to buy because no one here has any bags. As you can see, people are coming out with trolleys. So bring your own bags into the store, just like I have. Just packed up my products into the bags. They also have a membership kiosk where you can sign up if you haven't already done so online, just behind me. So here is my receipt. Altogether, I spent a hundred and altogether, I spent one hundred and seventy-one dollars and forty-two cents. That is really reasonable for the amount of things I bought. So yeah, I've packed everything up in my bags. Excuse me. Also, as you exit, they check your receipt, um, which is really good, good safe practice. There's so many things these days. So I am out. I'm out of the mayhem inside and I'm going to walk back to my car. Overall, I had a really good experience shopping at Costco. I really encourage it. I really um, hope everyone gets a chance to come in. I really think they handled the open day extremely well. Um, even the customers inside were quite patient no one was pushing anyone around or swearing at anyone so yeah it was it was a really good experience because I normally don't go out on any open days or anything so yeah
surprisingly it is currently 5 p.m. almost 5 p.m. and there are no more queues outside no one is waiting outside as you can see so yeah that's pretty good oh thank you thank you so much and here is a final look of all the items that I purchased today from Costco New Zealand's opening day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you all very happy shopping at Costco New Zealand. Definitely take out time and visit their awesome store. You will not regret it. Bye for now.